Hi, this is a video. I'm going to go through my gear after the deer wreck about two weeks ago. Just showing where it held up and where it didn't. Um, first, a couple things about the ride. Uh, the total ride that day was about 200 miles. I was 18 miles from home. It was almost, let's see, the sun had set. It was about 8.20 p.m., but it was still light out. So I was driving into a bright sky. A mule deer fawn hit me from the right side. I never did see the deer. I do not remember if I actually saw it or not. Um, the fawn was pretty small. It was about the size of a blue healer. For those of you, so just so you know, basically the size of the dog from Mad Max. Pretty small. Um, I was probably going about 70. Uh, I did go out and, let me look at my notes here. I walked, paced everything off, getting approximate distances. Best I can tell from the time I hit the fawn till the first scrape mark I found on the pavement was about 50, 60 feet. And which I calculated that out. The longest amount of time it would have taken me for to go from riding to being sliding was six tenths of a second. It might have been even quicker. I slid for approx anywhere roughly 100 to 120 feet. Um, let's see. That's about it for that. I'll put my notes away. And we'll look at my gear. Um, we'll look at the jacket first. This is a Tourmaster Flex 2. It's an older jacket. Uh, this is the type of armor I had on the shoulder. And this is what was in on my elbows. There are no marks on any of the actual armor. Okay, this outer layer is the rain cover. The actual jacket is underneath and is a mesh jacket. Um, I went down on the right hand side and as far as I know, I stayed on the right. The bike slid entirely on its right hand side. The jacket itself, okay, this is the throttle arm. Tore it up here, there. The shoulder pad would have been under here. On the clutch side, that would have been my elbow. Um, most of this, it didn't even ever go through the rain jacket part of it. Uh, it did do the, a lot of damage on my it's a clutch side. It went clear through everything. Ground off the zipper. But underneath, um, on the clutch side, this is the damage it did to the jacket, the mesh part. And there is one small tear on the throttle side shoulder. But like I said, there is no mark on the shoulder pad. Um, other than that, let's see, anything else on this? There are no marks on the back at all. So I, I slid on my front the entire time. Um, this mark here that's square, I at first thought was my cell phone, but it would have been in the pocket over here. I did a little looking at it, and I think this is the mark from my bar end mirror on the throttle side. I never did find the remains of the mirror. Let's see, what's next? Gloves. It's throttle side glove. I definitely slid on the plastic. And also on the clutch side, it went through pinky finger really well. I, Again, very little on the palm side. Most of this was on the side of the thumb and here, which is where I've got what I have. They're heal getting healed up pretty good there. Um, the cl clutch side. Again, nothing on palms. There is a tear on the pinky. No mark. I have no mark there. Scuff went through there 
and nothing else. But my thumb, well, there's a little tearing up there. My thumb might be dislocated. It's getting slowly getting better. Let's see, is there anything else here? No. Going to the jeans. Competition accessories, Kevlar line jeans. This hole was here already, as was this one. Again, the deer came at me from the throttle side. So here's deer crap that was all down the side of the bike. The Kevlar on the knee, which I think was first impact, probably saved a bunch of my knee, although they're pretty scraped up. But what I think what happened is, as I slid down the road, this all pulled down and got on top of my knee. Um, over here, obviously my pocket had some slid there too. Now, the clutch side. I think as I was sliding, the jeans pulled up and rolled around over my knee, which is why my knee kind of looks like that. On that side, the right hand one, yeah, it's healing up pretty good, but three big road, three road rash burns. The thing is on these, the edge of the Kevlar is right here. So there is no Kevlar from here on up on either side. And there is none on the back, which rolled over on me. Um, although you can definitely tell it did help here. I had no pads in the pants, although there are pockets here and here and some hip pad pockets on each side. The boots, they are just hiking boots, which were, I was gonna replace them this winter anyway because they quit being waterproof. Clutch side boot, you can tell drug and rubbed clear through what was left of the rubber here. And a little here, boy it kind of cooked that. Other marks, not much. Throttle side boot. There's a lot of, you can tell it slid on my toes. The leather's roughed up pretty good. These are not steel toed boots. Like I said, they're hiking boots. Um, and this is all deer crap too. You can see I slid down this side. So, not as good as riding boots, but a heck of a lot better than tennis shoes would have been. The helmet. Um, this is a modular, this is a G-Max modular helmet. It did not come unhooked. I do have a pretty healthy chin guard in there because it's actually set up to be a snowmobile helmet, not a motorcycle helmet, which means a heavy duty um, chin curtain and a double pane windscreen. Um, as I slid, you can see I slid several different directions. Um, the first was probably this way and then I don't remember what happened. I, when you're sliding down the road, you don't have, there's not much thinking involved. Did ruin the vent. Ground that off pretty good. There is nothing. There are no marks on the throttle side of the helmet, which that's the side I went down on, so I don't understand that. On the clutch side, there are some marks. So maybe I rolled a little at some point. I don't know. Um, let's see if I can get this up. That's, I don't know if you can see that. The red stuff is deer. How it got up and inside everything, I do not know. I really don't. That's all inside. And I didn't have anything in my face. Face shield was down. I do believe that the helmet saved me from a severe neck injury because as I I put this on and put it on the ground and rolled up so I was up here this far and the chin bar was on my chest so I actually think it stabilized my neck I never did have any neck pain at all so helmet did a pretty good job 
Let's see, where else did I want to say about that? Um, I did have, initially, a little mark on my chin. I think this thing flexed enough. Yeah, it's hard to show that. But it flexed and I probably went far enough forward in the helmet and I had one little tiny mark on my chin. And that was, and an imprint of the on my forehead for a day. Other than that, that was it. Um, oh, my boots and my foot. Throttle side, the side I went down on. I think the bike came down on my foot. I'm definitely going to lose my big toenail. I don't think anything's broken. But it's between that and my clutch side thumb is the biggest pain I have right now. But I'm healing up. I don't know if this will help anyone. Um, I'm glad I had my gear on. Could have been a lot worse. 